hello in this video i will tell you how you can verify domain ownership in google search console via dns so this is the first method to verify the property in google search console so for that we will have to write our domain name over here so this is the domain name that i recently purchased to create my web design portfolio so i purchased my name domain and here i will click on continue So here there are different ways to verify the domain ownership via DNS record. So the first one is TXT and the second one is CNAME. So you can use any of these. Both the processes are similar. We will have to add the TXT or CNAME record in the domain DNS. So first of all you will have to make sure which is your domain registrar. For example maybe you are using godaddy.com or namecheap.com. So I am not telling you about hosting, I am talking about domain registrar. It is where you register your domain name. So for example, if I want to purchase any domain, I will go to GoDaddy, Namecheap, Bluehost or any place and I will purchase domain and the hosting can be on a separate platform. For example, my domain name can be on GoDaddy and my hosting can be on Bluehost. Okay, so we can connect them both and we can create a website. So here I am talking about domain name provider where you have purchased your domain name. So I have purchased my domain name on Namecheap. So you can log in to the domain name provider whichever you are using. So here I can open Namecheap.com and I will go to my dashboard. And here you can see different domain names that I have purchased. So this is the domain name which I am using in this video. So if you are using same domain name provider as your web hosting as well. So for example, your domain is on Namecheap and you are using same platform for the web hosting. So in that case, your name servers will be pointed to the Namecheap. And for that, you can just click on manage. And here you can go to advanced DNS. And here you can add those record. You will see the option to add the dns like the cname or the txt over here so in that case your name server will be pointed to namecheap so let's let me change the name servers no problem and i can show you the process so if your web hosting is same then your name servers will be pointed to namecheap and you will see some options like these over here and here under host records you can just click on add new record and here you can come back and you can copy this txt record and you can select txt record over here and you can just paste this value and you can click on save and if you want to use cname then you can just select that and you can copy the host and you can copy it over here and change it change this one to cname and then copy this and then you can add it over here so that's how you can change the dns if you are using same domain registrar for your web hosting as well and if both are different then i will tell you the second process so in that case your domain from the domain registrar will be pointing to the web hosting so for example i am using name servers of sample host because i am using their web hosting so let me add name server again as I just removed to show you. So let me change them. And now I will have to log in to my web hosting. So here is the web hosting that I am using. So this is really cheap web hosting. You actually get one year plan for $10. So I sometimes use this. So here I can go to the cPanel. So this is the process that I am showing you that you can follow if you are using a different domain registrar and you are not using their web hosting and the web hosting is different from the domain registrar. Like here you can see that my domain was on Namecheap and my web hosting is on Semblehost. So here now I will have to change my DNS from here and here I will type DNS and here I will go to zone editor and here i will select my domain name like 
this is the domain name and I will click on add CNAME record maybe and now let me go back and here I can copy the host name and I will type it in the name and now I will come back and I will copy this destination and I will paste it over here and I will click on add a CNAME record. So here you can see I have added them and now let's go back and now we can click on verify and here you can see domain owner verified and now we can click on go property and now we can set up our google search console by submitting our sitemaps and do whatever we want like we can index pages and different stuff so that's it for the video in the next video i will show you how you can submit sitemaps and how you can request google to index your page so that's it for the video if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to like this video comment on this video so my video will be reached to more viewers and subscribe to my channel for more related videos see you next time